Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA, has launched a crackdown on traders engaged in online business who do not file returns or pay their taxes. Dennis Otieno has the details of this and other stories making headlines on the business scene. In a notice, KRA says traders in online business should give the taxman its dues. The new stringent measure is likely to affect many who have taken to social media platforms to advertise and conduct online sales. The agency says such traders will only be spared if the income earned from such trade is explicitly exempted in law. Elsewhere, Toyota Kenya has launched its fifth generation Toyota RAV4 in the Kenyan market. The new vehicle with a four-wheel drive model has announced features making user experience enjoyable. We continuously aim to improve ourselves and have a positive impact on our working environment, our people, product and the services that we actually offer. We pride ourselves at uh, providing that special experience to our customers. In other news, small and medium enterprises are set to benefit from improved solutions in technology. This follows a partnership between DataLogic and Lynx Distribution, which offers IT solutions in the East African market. The solutions will target SMEs in retail, manufacturing, health, transport and logistics. We are confident that uh, not only our uh, SME community but our, the entire ecosystem for the resellers will benefit. You know, we want to give them the solution of the entry-level barcode readers to uh, mobility solutions all under one roof. And, then... and finally, Equity Bank Group has posted a 5% growth in net profits. The bank recorded a net profit of 6.2 billion shillings compared to 5.9 billion shillings during the same period last year. The bank attributes the performance to increased earnings from the loan book. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.